everyone, my name is Renee Stravolinski and this is the Community Church Financial Update. This update is brought to you to inform you of all the exciting financial happenings here at Community Church. And yes, you did hear me correctly. I used the word exciting and church finances in the same sentence. That's because we have some really exciting news to share with you. This past week, we invited you to invest in your church home through the Heart for the House campaign. I am so pleased to be able to share with you that we brought in just over $65,000 in pledges. With these funds, we will be able to complete some much needed updates to our downtown location at New City, as well as complete some projects out at Riff Road that we haven't been able to do with our general operating budget. Next, please take a look at the table on the screen. This table provides giving statistics through April 30th of this year. The blue line is the estimated level of giving we would need through the first four months to cover our budgeted expenses for the 2019 year. The orange line is what our giving has been for the first four months. Based on this data, we are a little over 10% under our budget so far this year, but we are adjusting expenses accordingly to operate within our means. Now, after sharing that financial information with you, you're probably wondering, well, what about the cafe updates that just happened out at Riff Road? Or what about that amazing worship album that we just released? Those projects probably had to be quite costly. We want you to know that these projects were completed outside of our general operating budget, and no general ties or offerings were used to complete them. We had several individuals within our church that saw a need, and they stepped up and generously and faithfully gave so that we could do these things. And without that, it couldn't have happened. You guys, when I see giving and generosity like this, it makes me think of Exodus, when the Israelites were building the tabernacle. They took up an offering so they had the supplies they needed to complete the work. The craftsmen came back to Moses and said they didn't need anything else because they had an abundance. Moses literally had to tell the Israelites to stop giving because they had so much. Let's be like the Israelites. I challenge you to continue this season of generosity so that we as a church can continue the work that the Lord has commanded. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to sharing more financial updates with you in the future.